everyone the next lesson is understanding coding script the problem but before that we must know the configuration of coding script the program this is the interface of school tree program which contain of block area this part is the coding area and this part is the execution area there are the item in the school tree program this is the website link button this is a menu bar this one for you to run or stop the coding this is the coding area the round shape with colors here is the command block palette if you want to add the extension menu you can click the add extended block button this is the code block this is the head we call it sprite you can change the sprite here this is the sprite information this the square here is the execute box and this one is the stage information next we go to the command block we have six command blocks this one is the head block which is the block that start all scripts this is the stack block it performs basic commands boolean blocks determines true or false statement this is the reporter block it delivers result of sentences this is C block. It repeats the block that enters the center or examines the condition. Last one is the cat block. This block terminates a script and cannot be attached below. Let's try using sensor with blocks. This is the code for mic sensor. The sound detect mic sensor is greater than reset. Let's run the code. If the mic sensor sense the sense the audio above that we set hello the hello please be quiet will be okay next one is the button sensor it's now we appear if user press the button we must declare the variable left button first and each time we do the code please and please connect the code wiz to uh, to enable the code wiz block appear in the coding school tree program You must add the piano or other sound. the light sensor if the light sensor value greater than we set the new pixel light will be turned on you must declare the value bright value 
we must declare the variable bright brightness value if the brightness value is less than 50 the new pixel color will turn on okay you will you can set the value here let's try the code Next is the distance sensor. You must declare the variable distance value. It tells us the distance value from the object. Three axis sensor. You must declare the three variable which is x, y, and z. Detect the slope and receive x, y, z value from negative ninety to ninety. Next is the buzzer sensor. It gives output various notes of different heights. Drag and drops the code blocks. Let's try the code. Next is the touch sensor. It plays C, D, E and F from the top right of the front of the board. Let's try the code. If you touch the sensor, the sound will be played. Next is the new pixel sensor. It shows various color of five new pixel. 
we can also adjust the brightness of the RGB color Let's try the code. You will see the new pixel color will be appear in your code list board. Next is the whole sensor. The whole sensor measure the polarity and strength of the magnets. Let's try the code. Put the magnet near to the code width or hole sensor. And the value will be read for it. Next is the OLED sensor. It enables user to print shapes or text in code with OLED. Let's try the code. It will print the L curve and shapes that we just code just now. Next is the Wi-Fi sensor to connect the NTP server and specify time zone to output date and time. Let's run the code. Next is the Bluetooth sensor. When the Bluetooth value comes in, it accepts the number entered by the smartphone.
let's try the code we learn how to upload and execute the blog first check your code then click edit turn on your arduino mode and click upload lastly wait the upload complete you also can connect the codewiz to the battery without connecting it to the computer to provide power. That's all for this lesson. Thank you.